Enough is enough. Queen passed a law banning divorces has and Meg showed signs of rift. The Queen is said to have issued a stark divorce warning to grandsons Prince William and Prince Harry, telling them enough is enough when it comes to the breakdown of royal marriages. The potential of Prince William and Kate Middleton getting a divorce some day is believed to have been made off limits by the Queen. Her Majesty reportedly told Prince William and Prince Harry that enough is enough when it comes to divorces in her family. In other royal news, it's been claimed that Kate Middleton was given a stark warning by Duchess Camilla to make sure her marriage to William stood the test of time. According to a royal insider, the Queen laid down the law to grandsons Harry and William, more or less forbidding them from ever getting divorces, following the failed marriages of her eldest three children. What with her sister Princess Margaret ending her marriage to Lord Snowden ending in the 1970s and the highly publicized divorce of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, the Queen's second-born son Andrew also famously split from wife Sarah Ferguson in 1996. And even her only daughter Princess Anne, who has been hailed the most hard-working royal family member, ended her first marriage to Captain Mark Phillips in 1992. But according to a royal source, the Queen has put her foot down when it comes to the prospect of more divorces within the royal fold and is adamant that there will be no more, telling Harry, who married Meghan Markle in 2018, and William, who tied the knot with Kate Middleton in 2011, that enough is enough. The Queen is the head of the church and so from a point of principle she is opposed to royal divorces. However, she has witnessed the divorces not just of her sister Princess Margaret, but also those of her three eldest children, the royal insider is said to have told the Sunday Express. She now feels, to put it bluntly, that enough is enough. She does not want to name names, but she is adamant that there are going to be no further royal divorces during her reign. The Duke of Sussex addressed his relationship with his stepmother in conversation with royal expert Angela Levin. Ms. Levin spent a year with Harry, accompanying him on many engagements and received exclusive access to him at Kensington Palace. She revealed that Harry put to bed any rumors of a tense relationship in her 2018 book. Harry said, To be honest, she's always been very close to me and William. She's not a wicked stepmother. Look at the position she's coming into. Don't feel sorry for me and William, feel sorry for her. She's a wonderful woman and she's made our father very, very happy which is the most important thing. William and I love her to bits. Some 14 million people had watched the boy's father confess to adultery with Camilla in his 1994 interview Charles, the private man, the public role with Jonathan Dimbleby on ITV. The following year, their mother told Martin Bashir in her now infamous BBC Panorama interview that there were three of us in this marriage. After Diana's tragic death in 1997, Charles bided his time before he considered mentioning any possible meeting between Camilla and his sons. Ms. Levin wrote, he had tried to open up the subject of a meeting a couple of months before Diana died, but both boys went very quiet, so he immediately dropped the subject. He waited a year and then approached his objective in a more roundabout way by inviting Camilla's children, Tom and Laura Parker Bowles, from her first marriage, to stay at Burke Hall, the Queen Mother's former residence at Balmoral. The meeting reportedly went well, and William met her alone in June 1998 at William's flat in St. James's Palace. Harry met her a few weeks later over afternoon tea at Highgrove. Camilla gradually appeared on the royal scene more often after this point, and the Queen invited her to the Golden Jubilee celebrations in 2002, she sat behind Her Majesty at one of the concerts at Buckingham Palace. Clarence House announced that she and Charles were engaged in February 2005, and married later that year in a civil ceremony that the Queen did not attend. Ms. Levin wrote, it couldn't have been easy for Prince Charles to tell his sons that the woman blamed for the breakup of his marriage to their mother was going to become their stepmother, but in the autumn of 2004 that's what he did. Harry accepted that Camilla had been in his father's life for a very long time and had grown to like her.